Can you name America's three branches of government? How about the number of amendments to the U.S. Constitution? If you're a student in Arizona, you'd better know, because these are the types of questions that will appear on the U.S. Citizenship Civics Test. That is a test that will now be required to graduate from high school, thanks to some landmark legislation signed into law last night by Governor Ducey in Arizona. Joining us right now is the man who introduced that legislation, Majority Leader of the Arizona House of Representatives, Mr. Steve Montenegro. Steve, thanks for joining us today. Good morning, Steve. Thanks for having me this morning. It's great to have you. Uh, I want to I want to put up something that makes your point, and that is how few people actually know Americans know about American history. In Oklahoma and Arizona, students have less than a four percent passage rate of a simple civics test. Only a third of Americans can name the branches of government, and twenty five percent can't ID who we gained independence from. Steve Montenegro, why is it Americans don't know much about history? Well, this is what we see here is actually a crisis in civics that's happening. I mean, even the the um, Pew Research, like you said, mentions that only a third can name the three branches of government. The National Assessment on Educational Progress tells us that uh, two thirds of students test below proficient, proficient in the area of civics. I mean, we don't have to go further than comedians at night on their talk shows or uh, making fun and, and poking fun of, of, of what we're seeing here today. This is a test that 92% of immigrants pass the first time when they want to become citizens. So this is something, I mean, we're looking at basic fundamental facts of how our government works, where our rights come from, sure. what the Bill of Rights does, what the Constitution okay. of the United States are. Let's, and, let's, and, Steve, and, we'll, we'll put up on the screen some of the examples of the questions on the simple test. This sure. is a test that, that high school students will have to pass, to, and they can t if they screw it up, they can take it as many times as it takes before they actually graduate. Name one branch or That's part correct. of the U.S. government. What is the capital of your state? Who is the commander in chief of the U.S. military? Who's in charge of the executive branch? What do we call the first 10 amendments of the Constitution? Those seem pretty simple and yet people don't know it. This, I know this is personal to you. I know you come from a family of immigrants and you, yeah. as a young man, actually helped your parents study for the test. That's correct. You know, I remember I was too young to take the test myself, but my parents actually took it. And I remember holding up the index cards, helping them study. You know, they That's weren't great. perfect in English, but they learned them because this is what makes America great. These are this is where we derive our rights from. Government doesn't give them to us. Our constitution is what makes our country so great. And when a people we forget that. I mean, we can we've been given an experiment only as much as we can keep it. And so we have to do our part so that our students. If we're going to be giving them high school diplomas, they should know these basic fundamental facts of how our government works and where they derive their rights Absolutely. from and responsibilities. Sure. That way they start their adult lives knowing where they're from. Steve Montenegro out in Arizona. Sir, thank you very much and congratulations on getting that passed. Thanks for having me, Steve. Anytime.